What is a URL shortener? I'm about to tell you about something that I'm not really allowed to use, so please don't tell anyone. You may have heard me on TikTok or on YouTube say, go download this document from tinyurl.com slash mislongexamguide, etc, etc. Well, the reason I say this is because when I try to share a digital resource, it normally makes a ridiculously long and complicated URL with tons of letters, digits and characters. Besides the fact that it would take me forever to say, go download this document from drive.google.com slash file slash d slash 13 pv That's just too long. Can you imagine how difficult it would be for people to remember the URL address? Well, that's why I like to use a URL shortener. I shouldn't really because there are shorteners and I'm Mr. Long. So I should technically be using URL longers. So basically a URL shortener is an online tool that takes a long web address and turns it into a much shorter version. For example, this long link could be shortened to something more like this. Some examples of these are examples like bit.ly or dub.co, but my personal favorite is tinyurl.com. And most of them are free. You just have to go to the website, paste a long URL into the shortener tool, and they create a unique shortened alias for that link. Then when someone clicks on the short link, they are automatically redirected to the original website. So what are the benefits of a URL shortener? They are really useful when posting on platforms with limited space like X or the old Twitter, but it also makes a general post look more aesthetically pleasing as it's not overrun by a long URL address. They are also much easier to remember. This makes accessing your websites or resources easier and it is especially convenient when they are trying to share the information. One of the features that some of these URL shortener websites provide is tracking the performance of your link. They give analytics to track how your link is performing, how many people are clicking on it, how many times do most people use it, where are they accessing the links from, stats like that. But some of these features are only available if you pay for the feature from these websites. Some URL shorteners allow you to specify the name used in the shortened URL. I find this really helpful as I can now create custom URLs that's even more easier to remember. Businesses can create custom short links for their own brand. And one of the features of many URL shortens is to provide not only a shortened URL, but a QR code as well. If you are not sure about what a QR code is, then go check out our video on it. We'll put the link in the video description. But as great as they are, we still must be careful because there are some risks that we have to be aware of before you click on a shortened URL. Hackers can use them for phishing or spreading malware. You might easily pick up a fake URL address. So they then use the URL shortener to hide the address to fool you. And this is why shortened URLs are automatically considered spam or malicious by some email and software settings. Some websites even prevent them from being posted. Users can't see where the link leads before clicking on it. So make sure you are receiving the shortened URL from a trusted source or website you know. Or see if you can preview the original link. Some services let you check where the link leads. Some websites provide free shortened URL services, but the URL will expire over time. This means your short link may stop working after a certain period of time. So test it regularly to see that it still works. And be aware that URL shorteners are tracking information when you click on the link, where you clicked it from, things like that. Normally it's okay, but be aware in the event you are trying to be anonymous. So the next time you hear me say tinyurl.com slash blah blah blah, you know that Mr. Long has a long link and wants you to rather remember the Mr. Long link. If you want to know more computer terms, make sure that you subscribe to at Mr. Long Computer Terms, where we post videos regularly about web technologies, hardware, software, and networks. Also follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.